Hi. In this video, I'm going to describe and explain how to upload an existing virtual machine to the cloud or Windows Azure. And in order to do that, first, I need to create a container in the storage. So let's go to the storage. I create a storage called the VMS MRE. And inside this storage, it has two containers, which is the uploaded VHDS. This is the first container and this is the second container. So I will upload my virtual hard disk into this container. So this is the first main step. Okay, and then I'm going to the machine that I will use to upload. And I need to install Azure PowerShell, it's just uh, you know, um, a helper tool that will enable me to run some PowerShell script uh, you know, uh, for uh, Windows Azure. And as we can see, it is an open source library. And we can, of course, here go to how to install the Azure PowerShell. And here it is a great article on how to do that. And of course, we can use the web installer, but I prefer the direct link. I just copied it here. So this will install the MSI. And then okay now it's installed let's run as a power shop okay so as we can see we can type help Azure and then this will display all the commands that we need to you know to get help about so the first thing I just need to connect to my Azure account or Azure portal so it will be add Azure account and this will bring up uh, the login page okay just write my password now after I connect it to my Azure subscription I just need to add the VHD so here I will just add Azure VHD and then here the destination I just copy the destination to my container including the name of the VHD that I want and then local file path here is the local file path to my VHD of prime killer that I want to upload and then upload it to Okay, as we can see at the beginning, it will start calculating the MD5 for the container, and this may take about 16 minutes, as we can see, and then it will detecting the blocking area, and then start upload. For my first test, this could, uh, of course, uh, for uh, calculating the MD5 hash, this is about 15 minutes, but uh, for detecting the blocking it take about uh, maybe 10 minutes more and then for uploading the, the virtual hard disk it took up uh, maybe about four hours because the, uh, the hard disk is about 80 gigabytes so you just need to uh, so I thought it's better to run from a server machine then I can work on my machine without interrupting and then we can come back later to to see the result of the uploading of the machine as we can see it's finished uh, calculating the MD5 and now it's just detecting the empty blocks and this could take about 10 or 15 minutes 
and then it will start uploading the VHD. And now it's completed and as we can see it took up to uh, one and a half hour to upload you know the, the VHD file. So let's go to to the storage you can see our uploaded I uploaded to the VHD upload. This is my upload VHD and it is 80 gigabytes. So let's create a, a virtual machine from this one. And I should have the disk here. I can create a new disk. DSLM disk. I'm browsing here to storage container of course it has Windows operating system creating the disk so as we can see now it's retrieving the Windows okay so let's create a virtual machine from that so I will create a virtual machine from the gallery and I just choose my disks this is the virtual machine disk here this is Visual Studio Ultimate with Image Engine Simple Sub Description location okay so here I will yes the LM I put uh, MRE at the end of all my machines, so too close to 10 gigabytes. I think this is great. So, and it's just provisioning the machine. You can see the detail in here. now it's completed successfully and provisioned so it was provisioned and it provisioned maybe it needs some now it's finished and it just do the last step which is installing some extension in the virtual machine And now as we can see it is running successfully I had some problem about installing the extension let me show you here if we go for the details we know that there is extension here for the computer BG info which is displaying the machine name and uh, you know uh, the memory and all this information and to install this extension, the problem about that um, uh, the Frank Keller machine it has uh, a specific name which is DSALM, and of course this is different from the the machine name on uh, the Azure. This is why it couldn't configure the service. So as we can see, the extension is not available. And to install this extension, it just you know went for a long time, and I just had to restart the machine to stop installing the agent of course I could stop installing any extension when I creating the machine you know for example if I go here and uh, just create a new machine and I can check box for installing agent but I need to install other agents so this is why I, I didn't want to stop installing the agent so all I need to do is just going here and start to uh, connect to the machine and this of course will download the rdb file and then i copy this rdb file to my machine here and start connecting to the machine
And as we can see here, now we have triangular machine on uh, Windows Azure. And of course, I, I will use this machine. Uh, I will, you know, uh, activate the Windows and activate the Visual Studio and TFS because I really need to use this machine, you know, for um, to not be expired anymore. Thank you.